Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy. So check this out. Today I'm going to teach you how to write a cold email. You're like, Andy, did you say a cold call? No, I mean a cold email. Here's the cool deal. Cold emails cost zero dollars. You can get into your CRM system system right now, take an email list from everybody who's purchased a vehicle in your store. And when you watch this full video, you're going to be blown away and this is going to make you more money than you ever imagined. And what's beautiful is it costs zero dollars. I'm going to show you how to write a cold email during this video. Get ready to be blown away. Okay guys, so this this is going to be a video that I'm going to need you to do me a favor. Go get yourself a piece of paper, go get yourself a pen. You're going to want to take notes during this video. Let me explain why. This is going to be about how to write an email. I'm going to give you the three most important parts on how to write the email and then what I'm going to do for you is I'm physically going to write the email out for you on the board. That way you have it. You can take exactly how I do it. This is an email that whenever I sold cars, all I did was real simple. I could be sitting there when it was raining. It could be sunshine. I could get there an hour before work. It didn't matter. I could get some emails, get 50 emails. I could take those 50 emails and literally I would create, I would decide, wait, number one, who am I selling to, right? Is this like a third party, maybe you work for a Kia store and this is like the third party Kia digital leads, right? Okay, is this previous customers that have purchased in the store that are maybe like orphan owners now and you're just pulling their emails out of the CRM? These are cold emails that convert. These are people that do not know who you are, which hints the cold in front of the email. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to turn these emails into big time money. But let's talk about some of the key points before I go through the email. Let's talk about the three most important things. So number one, okay, and by the way, I took notes here just so I make sure I didn't miss anything at all when I went through this with you. Number one, when you make the cold email, you always got to start out with the customer compliment. Every single time has to start out with a compliment, okay? I want to explain this to you. That's number one. These are the three parts to a high converting cold email. And by the way, it doesn't matter who you're writing this cold email to, okay? What matters is the form that you write it and that it works for everybody. So I wrote down some key points here and I said, number one, um, this will change your life if you do it right, okay? Number two, it costs no money to do. So it's only sweat equity, which means the time that it takes to do it. But if you write a good one, it literally, other than changing out the name, it's copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, and it's beautiful, okay? This isn't like running Facebook ads or paying for a Craigslist ad, which is great, but it costs no money. And these are people that do not know you, but when you send this across, you're gonna have familiarity, but you always have to start out with number one, which is pay them a compliment. Hey guys, I see you. Listen, I appreciate you. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to tell you real quick, please do me a favor. Comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know what you think about the video. I reply to every single one of my comments. I'm here to help you. And by the way, please like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Let's get back to the video. Okay. Number two, you go, always go to a case study and you say, Andy, what the heck is a case study? It means what you've done for someone that they could see that, you know what, I, may, I might want that done for me. Okay, I call that a case study. So number one, compliment, number two, case study, and then number three, you're gonna put the CTA. You guys all know what that is. If you're a closer, that's the call to action, okay? What do you want me to do now, okay? I'm gonna show you how to write this email out and you are going to love it. You're gonna print it out your own way. And by the way, maybe during this video, okay, you're like, Andy, I have a certain list that I'm gonna call and you're like, I want to know exactly how I need to do this. Let me give you my phone number here. It's probably going to be on the bottom of the page, but I'm just going to write it out here. 918-210-0254. Yeah, I'm old school. I write on the whiteboard all the time. That's how I learn. So when you're going through this email, if you have some questions, guess what? 
reach out to me. I'll help you dial it in a little bit, okay? So with that being said, we want to talk about, you know, who are we writing this to and then who are we trying to sell something to? And just so you understand, a cold email is not to sell anything. It's to have somebody reach out to you about something that you have for sale that can help them. And that's how I've designed this whole email. So with that being said, let's get into the email. This is my favorite part. So let's say we're going to use Margie. Let's say that's her name. Beautiful Margie here. Okay, my email is going to start out like this. And I'm going to slide out here and it's going to say, Hi, Margie. Okay, you always want to start out and you want to say their name. You have to say their name. If you don't say their name, it ain't going to fly. Copy and paste all you want, but change the name out every time. Okay, you start out by saying, I'm Andy Elliott. Identify yourself. Say who you are with ABC Motors. You guys know Andy's always with ABC Motors, okay? Period. Look, that's an introductory. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to go in the customer compliment right here, okay? I'm going to say this. Let's just say I'm doing an orphan owner list, okay? I'm going to say congrats on your purchase. Remember this, I don't know, I don't know when this, per this person has bought, okay? It might have been four years ago, it might have been last year, okay? So if I make it where it works for everybody, that's gonna save me the most time and it's gonna be the most efficient, but it's still gonna be a deadly email when it's done, okay? Congrats on your purchase in the past with us, okay? You see that? So it starts out by saying this. Hi, Margie. I'm Andy Elliott with ABC Motors. Watch the compliment. Congrats. Thank you for your purchase in the past with us. All right? Now they got familiarity, and now where I go from there. Okay? Watch this. Case study. Second part. Recently, I upgraded... A customer of mine to a, and I might even capitalize this. By the way, guys, listen to me. Don't write this all caps, okay? Don't, don't, do not write this in all caps. And listen, I'm going to get in at the very end of the video. I'm going to get into how do you actually put the subject line here. The subject line is everything. Understand this. If you don't write good emails and you don't do this right, you know where your email is going to end up? In a freaking spam box, okay? Don't get spammed. How do you not get spammed? You write a real email, okay? The subject line is crucial. Remember, if you don't write a killer subject line, guess what's gonna happen? They're never gonna open this, all right? But once they open it, you wanna make sure that you customer compliment, you do a case study, and then you do a call to action. This is an orphan owner list. So I said, hi, Margie, my name's Andy L with ABC Motors. Congrats on, your, congrats on your purchase in the past with us. They know, I know that these people bought from us because that's the, the email list that I'm going after. Recently. I upgraded a customer of mine to a newer, and I might even capitalize newer here, okay, um, car with way less, notice I capitalized that, miles, okay, and saved her dollars a month. That's all going to be capitalized right there. Look, what's the case study? The case study is what I did for someone else that was just like them. Okay? It says recently I upgraded a customer of mine to a newer car with way less miles and saved her $150 a month. <whistles> Guess what? Now you got my attention, okay? Now what are you going to do? You do the CTA, okay? And I'm also going to add this little deal. I might say she, I said they, but we'll say she is so happy with the savings. Okay? Next, watch this. Here's, here's what I want to do. This is the call to action. Okay? I, and I'm going to space this, would love, sorry about the handwriting, Okay, good thing we're, we're uh, doing an email here. To talk about 
doing this same thing with you. Watch out. See that right there? I would love to talk about doing the same thing with you, okay? Now, that's my call to action, okay? Followed by actually what the next step is, which is this, okay? Would you mind if I sent over a couple of free times where we could talk for 30 seconds. See that short time frame? 30 seconds. Would you mind if I sent you over a couple of free times where we could talk for 30 seconds? Right here, Andy Elliott. 918-210-0254. Now look at this, let me show you this. This is a cold email real quick, okay? And by the way, look, I'm gonna explain this to you. And, and, and if I don't understand exactly who you're sending the emails to, right, then I don't know exactly how to write it. This is an email, okay, and you can, obviously, there's some common sense here. You can take this email, this is a cold email for any salesman, saleswoman to send out to a list of customers. And by the way, if they didn't purchase this, this could be for service customers. Think about this. Hey, watch this. Hi Andy, I'm Andy Elliott with, a a hi Margie, I'm Andy Elliott with ABC Motors. Congrats on servicing your vehicle with us last week. Whoa, now I'm hitting service customers. Congrats on servicing your vehicle with us in the past. Maybe you don't know the days, okay? Recently, I upgraded a service customer of mine, right? To a newer car with way less miles and I also saved her 150 a month in payments. She is so happy with the savings. I would love to talk to I would love to talk about doing the same thing with you. Would you mind if I sent you over a couple of free times where we could take right? Um, or, or it would only take 30 seconds. And guess what? Andy Elliott, there's my phone number. Guys, this is a killer cold email. And this is the year right now where obviously 2020, we're in COVID. People are going in, they got more free time than ever. For once in their life, they're not too busy to check their emails. They're on their emails daily. So what does that mean? That means you need to be in their email box. Okay. So with that being said, this is a deadly cold email that you can create, you can build, and yes, you can steal it, you can change a couple words out. I would highly recommend watching this video 10 times, write this down exactly the same way I did it. Make sure that you understand exactly how to do it, follow the system, change out a couple keywords, and then crush it. Now let's talk about the last thing, all right? Subject, subject line. All right, what is a subject line? Well, we know this, this is the email. The subject line is what the email is about. And if you don't get this part right, they'll never read this. So let's look back for a second and let's think, hey, what could I use, what could I use for this, right? For subject line. Well, what I'm gonna use is this. Okay, you see this little case study that I used? What did I end up doing? Save 150 bucks, okay? I might put this, I can save you 150 too. You see that? That's it. I can save you 152. Huh, click. Now, when I'm reading it, I'm into the third sentence, it says, hey, I saved her 150 a month. Ah, I see, a monthly payment, I got it. Guys, be creative with your subject lines, make them good. They've got to be to a point to where somebody wants to click on the subject, right, to see what's inside the subject. Curiosity kills the cat. Make them curious, and when you do that, guess what? 
This little email right here, I call it the three to six sentence email. It's deadly, it works, it has some great stuff. It has obviously the compliment, the case study, and the CTA, it's all there. Guys, take a good look at this, pause the video, check it out, write this down, and let me know how you do it. And by the way, make sure you comment below. Let me know how it works for you. Have a blessed day. Reach out to me on my cell phone if you need something. See you guys. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 210-0254, shoot me a text, I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook, join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation, one of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training, keep watching the videos, and crush it.